Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting video out here. We are hiking into a lake that's got some big brook trout and some big tiger trout. Um, my hope was that I could drive my truck all the way into the lake, but uh, yeah, this trail isn't exactly truck worthy. Probably could have brought my four wheeler, but I didn't. So we're hiking the last two miles in. Hopefully it'll be worth it. There's supposed to be some pretty big fish in here. So yeah, got two miles ahead of us. Let's get hiking. <sighs> Yeah, no way my truck could have made it up that hill. That is sketchy. All right, we're about halfway there. Got about one mile left. Whew, man, this is a good workout. Just a little further. All right, here we are. Took a while, but we made it. All right guys, so we made it. It's a beautiful lake and it's honestly quite big. So I don't really know where to start. A lot of times at lakes like this, 90% of the fish are gonna be in like a few different spots, whether it's where spring's coming in, a deep hole, or where there's lots of structure. And from what I can see right here, it looks really, really shallow all throughout there. And there's lots of floating moss. So I'm gonna walk around to the very end of the lake and just kind of scope it out, see where I want to start. Well, I've made my way clear to the other end of the lake. I swear it was like half a mile, but made our way, still haven't seen any fish, but it is beautiful out here. Holy cow, with all those aspens, you got some turning orange over there. Dang. All right, folks, well, I have walked around this lake pretty much the entire thing. I still have yet to see a fish or see one jump. So I don't know, I don't know, it's not a good sign. I'm at this little spot where there's lots of rocks. There's actually no moss, because for the most part, everywhere else has just been mossy. So I'm gonna try right here for a little bit. Hopefully we can get something to come out, but I don't know. It's not looking good so far. Hmm. Nothing, dude. Not a single fish. Really don't want to believe that we just wasted like half a day coming here. <sighs> well guys, I'm afraid we just wasted half a day coming to this lake. Walked all the way around and it's a really big lake. Didn't see a single fish. Nothing at the surface, nothing chased it in and I know enough to know if that's the case, don't waste your time there. So, so we got about five, six hours left in the day. I'm gonna full send it, head to a completely different lake and I'm like, pretty sure that there's fish in there. All right, folks, made it to the next lake. Uh, we're gonna hike the last little bit in because, I mean, this is a pretty rough trail, but hopefully this lake is worth it. This lake is much smaller than that first one. And supposedly there's cutthroat trout in here. I don't think there's a lot of big ones, but we should be able to catch quite a few of them. Let's see what we're working with. All right, we're just gonna throw this black leech at them. See if they want it. Still haven't seen one yet, but this looks, oh, one just hit right there. Never mind. One just hit right there. All right, I can see one, I can see one. Fish confirmed. They don't look too big, but I don't really care at this point. I just want to catch something. All right, that's a good cast. I think they're all gonna be tucked up and hiding under these floating moss mats, just waiting for food to come by. Come on. He was right there. Come on. So this is the dam. So I think this is the deepest part of the lake, or at least it looks like it. Oh, oh my gosh, there's one. That's a pretty nice one too. There was one. Let's throw the old gulp minnow down there. Now I've seen three fish. Oh, oh, one's already coming out to it. Oh, one just came out to it and looked at it and swam off. Oh, a little guy's coming out. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Dude, the second I threw it down there, a pretty nice fish came out and looked at it. Probably a one pounder or so. So I've seen two very nice sized chunky cutthroat come out and then one little baby. I'm gonna try to make it so the little guy can eat it. In fact, he's coming up for it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Good one just came up and looked at it. Got him. Oh my gosh. Three. Three nice fish just came out and started swiping at it. If I hook one of those big ones, it's gonna be interesting trying to pull them through all this moss. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. Crushed it. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. I didn't even see him. My rod just bent clear down. That feels like a good fish. We're pulling in like 10 pounds of weeds with him. Oh, shoot. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Is he still on there? Oh, goodness. What the heck? Do not tell me he got off. Do we still have him? What the heck? Oh, we got him. 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 All right, where is he? We're just going to have to scoop up all that moss. There he is. There he is. Do we have him? Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, wow. That is not as big as I was thinking it was. Holy cow. He sure fought good, though. Look at that, folks. First fish of the day. Beautiful cutthroat and about five pounds of seaweed. Sorry about that, bud. Yeah, look at that fish. Wow. You know, <laughs> that's actually not a bad fish at all. Nice chunky cutthroat. Let him get a breath for a second. All right, we'll get one last look at him and let him go. That is what we're here for. Boom. All right, we'll let him go. Oh. Here, get out of there. Get out of there. There he goes. Kicks away strong. Oh, man. There seems to be some pretty nice sized fish out there because that one was not the, the bigger one that I saw right when I cast it in there. It's probably half a pound or more bigger than that one. Oh, one just grabbed it. One just grabbed it. Fish on. Fish on. That's another good one. That's another good one. I just watched my white minnow just disappear into the darkness. Nice. Another one about the same size. Yeah, about the same size. I like how he kind of cleared a path right there with that first fish. Now this one's not as bad. Still got a bunch of moss. Cool, cool. Beautiful cutthroat trout. And I believe it's just cutthroats in here. I mean, you never know when a random brook trout's gonna come by, but I think it's just cutties. Nice. Here we go, fish number two on the minnow that is a stud right there second fish this feels so good after walking around that lake for two hours and not seeing a single one this feels good let him go thanks for playing buddy hopefully he finds his way through all those weeds yeah he should be fine oh yeah it's actually pretty deep right there there's just a thick layer of this crap nasty all right let's go for number three have to imagine they're pretty spooked by now but we'll see oh oh he's got it he's got it fish on watched him pick it up watched him pick it up <laughs> another good one this one might be the smallest one yeah smallest one so far nice in the net got him <laughs> Whew. Trying to keep my balance on this log at the same time. Sweet. My hand's still wet from that last one. Settle down, little guy. So yeah, this is the smaller one down there that we saw. And this is still a pretty good sized fish. Cool, cool. Fish number three. And these are Bonneville cutthroat, uh, in case any of you are wondering, since there's like 20 different kinds. Pretty, pretty fish. Let's get them back. All right, thank you for biting, buddy. That was fun. There you go, shoots off. Nice, and that guy uh, decided to throw our minnow. So we'll go ahead and rebait here. Let's go for number four. How many can we catch from this one spot? Oh, fish on, that's a little guy. That's just a little guy. 
We can just get him off the hook real quick. Cool. So there's probably a lot of these fish out there too. They're still fun though. Pretty little cutties. Cool, that's the fourth one. Just toss them back right there. And yeah, it's like, it's gotta be like two, three feet deep, straight down. So hopefully I don't fall off this log. All right, three pounder right here. Three pounder. Oh, one just bumped it. I can barely see my minnow down there. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Got him, little guy. Another little guy. Sweet. If we were keeping a fish today, this would probably be a good candidate, but I don't have time. Only got a couple hours left in the day. See ya. Oh, oh, missed him. I'm just watching my line and as soon as it starts shooting off, I'm just setting the hook. Cause when the sun goes behind the cloud, I can't see him. I mean, usually I can just look down there and watch him eat it. I'm kind of fishing blind right now. Oh, oh, nice one. Nice one, got it. Watched him. That's a chunk. That's an absolute chunk. Watched him eat it too, that was so cool. Look at that. Man, that's a chunk, dude. Holy cow. That is a beautiful fish. This is awesome. Yeah, dude, check that out. He swallowed that freaking gulp minnow. And I set the hook right when I watched it disappear. Oh, it's actually not that bad. He's just hooked right there in the roof of the mouth. We can just pop it out. Yep, there it goes. That actually wasn't bad at all. Beautiful fish. What is that, number five or six? I don't even know. We're doing good. Let him go. All right, through that. I'm gonna give him a little toss right there. Here we go. There's a little opening down there. All right. Get back in there. I'm just waiting for like the king of the pond to come out. He got it, watched him. This is insane. There has got to be like a hundred fish just stacked up right here. Cause they're not getting spooked either. They are aggressive and they are hungry. Oh, that's a pretty one. That's the prettiest one we've caught. We're getting a picture of that guy. Dude, check that out. It's one of the bigger ones too. That is a gorgeous fish. All right, we got some pictures of this fish. One last look and we'll let him go. Awesome, dude. This is so much fun. This has got to be like the 10th fish we've caught from this spa. They're just stacked. Should be healthy and ready to go. Yep, there he goes. Sweet. Even saved our minnow. My arm, my reel, my rod, everything. My net just covered in moss. Alright, I'm going to switch spots. We've caught quite a few from right here and I'm still getting swipes but most of them are just from little tiny fish so we're gonna keep exploring keep walking around see what else we can see oh there's no way I'm getting out there look at the ground yeah I'm gonna fall straight through if I try to get out there I don't know where to go folks it's like a quicksand pit all around the shoreline maybe if we can walk out on one of these logs we hook one right here landing him that's gonna be an issue but we won't worry about that just yet it's a good thing we have a long handle net still not really seeing any fish cruising out there hitting stuff on the surface they're all I, I mean I think they're all just hiding in one spot not really moving not a single fish came out from these weeds right here and I don't see any either cast clear out there in the middle let's see I'm not seeing anything wow nothing it's like so dead over here nothing right here that is so weird that is so weird not a single fish has come out and looked at it I can't even see anything it's like completely dead on this side of the pond I'm willing to bet 
90% of the fish are all stacked up in that one area. That's what I mean by most of the fish are probably going to be in like a couple spots. Can't see a single thing out there. Nothing has come out and looked at it. Weird. Very weird. Oh, that's a giant. That's a giant. Oh, got him. Oh, one just jumped right there. We're hooked up on a pig, dude. I mean, he looked pretty big underwater. Assuming this is the one that took it because I saw two of them. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a pig. That is a pig. Woo. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yep, yep. That's the biggest one. Nice. Nice fish. There we go. This. Oh, my goodness. That's a big fish. Bigger than I thought. Hold on. Get this moss out of there. Oh, barely hooked in the corner of the mouth. Hook just pops right out. Let me wet my hand real quick. That is an absolute hog of a cutthroat. Dude, that is what I'm here for. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Biggest fish of the day, beautiful cutthroat. Holy cow, all right. One last look. <laughs> there she goes fell right in the water well I wasn't too graceful a release but she swam off but that was a good fish good one to end it on because I'm actually gonna head to a different lake that I heard has some pretty big fish I would like to stay here and just keep catching fish because I mean we definitely could but we've only got like an hour and a half two hours left in the day and this next lake is just a little bit further down the trail and I really want to check it out and it's got some brook trout, so let's go check it out. Until then, this was a fun lake. All right, folks, lake number three. Uh, this is gonna be the last lake we fished today. We got some big brook trout in here, hopefully. I think I'm gonna head over to that side. There's a big boulder uh, slide over there. Looks like that could be home to some good fish. All right, folks, so we're gonna start fishing right here. Um, as I was walking around, I saw tons, tons of giant salamanders, like biggest salamanders I've ever seen in my life, like four or five inches. And usually that's not a good sign. Um, I know this lake can winter kill, and so far, I really hate to say it, but it's looking like it might've. Not seeing any sign of life other than those salamanders, but we're gonna give it a try. And I'm going to toss this gulp minnow out and let it sit on the bottom. And I'm going to throw a leech out on my fly rod. All right. Bombs away. I really hope there's something down there. It was a rough road getting here. So I've got my spinning rod and my fly rod out. I'm just watching the indicator on my fly rod. Hopefully it gets bit, but I am starving. Haven't eaten anything all day. I've been running around on trails looking for fish. And I guess you could say we've had mild success. I've sure worked up an appetite, especially hiking those four and a half miles. So we got here, mountain house adventure meal, lasagna with meat sauce. This is one of my favorites, top three for sure. And as a little dessert, Got a strawberry cream pie. Just boil up some water. Here we go, that should be enough. It's been a minute since I've had one of these. I am excited. There's really nowhere to sit or cook along these boulders. It's just, there's no flat surfaces. It's kind of a pain, but we're making it work. Go ahead and open this thing up. These things are so good. They're so expensive. It's like 13, 14 bucks for one of these. Still no bites. <sighs> Haven't even gotten bumped. It's a cool little spot though. Nice spot to stop and have some dinner. All right. It is done, or it's boiling. I'll just take it, carefully pour it in our lasagna. All right, now we'll give it a stir, just like that. Hope I didn't put too much water in there. And we'll seal it up. So we'll let it sit for five minutes, stir again, reseal, and then leave it for another four minutes, and it should be done. Dope. The lasagna still needs to cook, but 
am going for the pie. Strawberry cream pie, 74 cents from Walmart. Like, they, they slap, dude. Look at that. Like I said, this is one of the better uh, meals these guys have. Like, it tastes just like lasagna. Because some of them do not taste like what they're supposed to taste like. Oh, yeah. That's good. Well, I think I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm going to head out of here, because... There's no fish in here, man. It's a beautiful little spot. Like, it looks like it'd be perfect for fish, and it is, but I think they all died this winter, <laughs> so. See, so yeah, hopefully they stock this lake and we can come back next year when they're actually catchable size. Well, folks, I am calling it for the day. I have determined that lake to be totally fishless. They probably stocked it with some fingerlings, but obviously, you know, they're not big enough to catch. So hopefully by next year, we can come back and start catching them. Yeah, it was a fun day. Fished three different lakes. One of them had fish, and I'm really glad I decided to stop there because I honestly wasn't planning on it, but I kind of saved the trip, caught some chunky cutthroat. But this video's not over. I'm gonna make it a two-parter tomorrow or the next day, or I don't know when, but we're gonna head to a completely different spot and go for cutties, brooks, tigers. I don't really know, we'll just have to see. But yeah, I got a long drive back on a brutal trail. Hopefully my truck can handle it. I mean, it just barely made it through the first time. But I trust this truck, it's a complete tank. I trust that it can get us home. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed day number one and I'll see you guys in a couple days. What are you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah, sorry to disturb you. Uh, I know, I know it. All right, guys, well, welcome back to day number two. It's actually like five or six days after the last clips you just saw. But I've made my way to this little pond right here that is absolutely full of cutthroat trout. There's not really a lot of big fish in here, but Hopefully we'll be able to catch a lot of them. And I want to do a little catch and cook for you guys. But uh, yeah, it is absolutely beautiful out here. The trees are turning bright orange. Fall is officially here. Every single day there's more and more trees that are just turning color. And this is my absolutely favorite time of the year because the fishing gets good. Let's try it out. All right, so we are fly fishing today, of course. Uh, the last clips you just saw, we were slaying those cutties on the gulp minnow, but we are getting back to the fly rod. I've got a orange balanced leech, and then up here we got a hare's ear. We're just gonna toss this around. I don't think these fish are gonna be too picky to be honest, but they might be. All right. Oh, there's one. <gasps> Dang it. I just spooked him out from under this log. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm lucky he didn't spit it because I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking down. I was going to roll cast, but my indicator was just gone. That's a nice little chunky cutty. Took the leech. Not a surprise. Every time I got a leech on, they'll go for that. <laughs> cool, cool. Nice little chunky fish to start the day. Let's check it out. Settle down there, bud. Now, he'd be a good cooking candidate, but first one, we're going to let him go. Beautiful little Bonneville cutthroat to start the day. Hopefully he's the first of many. Hopefully we get some bigger ones too. Awesome, awesome. He just hides right under the log. There he is. Hey, how's it going? Right, let's get back in there. Oh, missed him. There was one. <laughs> there he is. Are you kidding me? 
How did I miss him twice in a row? There ought to be one hiding under that log. Looks pretty good. Oh, yep. Got him. Knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Wherever there's logs, there's fish. Just like that. It's another good fish. Nice. Again, took the leech. That one's a little prettier. Has some darker colors. Beautiful, beautiful fall cutthroat trout. So much fun. Oh, there he goes. He's fine. Oh, there's one. There's one hitting stuff on the surface right there. Right there. He's looking. Hey. Leech. Oh, he spooked. He spooked. Darn it. Oh, oh. Dude, there's a bunch of fish down there. There's like four or five. And they've all tried eating it at least once, so now they're kind of spooked. Got him. Watched him. Watched him take that. Ooh, that's a that's a pretty looking one. Is that, a, that almost looks like a rainbow. Check this out, folks. This is kind of an odd looking cutthroat, at least compared to the other ones. It's still a cutthroat, but it looks like a hybrid of some kind. Look at that. Got way more spots than the other ones. Look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful. But does that not look like a rainbow cutthroat hybrid? with that pink stripe. I wouldn't be surprised if it is, honestly. Cool, cool. Let me know in the comments below. There's a lot of you guys out there who are way bigger fish experts than I am. Is that a hybrid of some kind? Let him go. See you later, buddy. The water's so clear and shallow. Every time I cast, it spooks the fish in the area. Oh my gosh, that was a great cast. My goodness. That was a professional cast right there. I just had a bite too. Come back, come back. Oh, got him. Oh, I was gonna recast, but then my indicator just, go oh, and he just popped off. Oh, please don't. Okay, yeah, he just popped off. He didn't break me off. Oh my gosh, there was another one. I'm not kidding. The second I look away, that's when the bite comes. Oh, one's coming over. Got him. Got him. Nice. That's a little bit bigger one. Yeah, that's one of the bigger ones. That's the biggest one we've caught. Yeah. Nice. All right. I love it when you can watch them come over to it and just think about eating it and then eat it and then you know when to set the hook. It's the coolest thing ever, sight fishing for trout in little ponds like this. Beautiful little cutthroat, again on the leech. I might as well just take the other fly off because none of them want it at all. Get one look at him and send him back. There we go. Fall time cutty. There you go. Let's get another one. Oh, of course, I hooked myself. Genius over here. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a chunk. Oh, he denied it. Dude, that's the biggest fish I've seen down there. That was like a 14, 15, 16 inch or maybe. That was a chunk. He looked at it and then swam right away. Didn't think twice. Oh, little guy. Hey. Oh, two little guys. Got him. <laughs> there were two fish this size right there and they just came out and whew, just started swiping at it. Yeah, these guys aren't very bright. We'll just get them off here quick. Pretty little fish. Beautiful native cutthroat. See it. All right, well, I just lost my first two flies of the day. That leech and that hare's ear is gone. Wonderful on that bush right there. Stupid bush. So I've just got this red leech on, nothing else, because that's all they're wanting anyway. So hopefully we don't lose any more flies today, but that's unlikely, especially when I'm casting over stuff like this. I mean, kind of got to expect it. There's one. Got him. <laughs> right there. It's actually kind of deep right here, probably four feet or so. And I've actually seen a bunch of them swim around down there. Like there's another one and another one right there. We'll just get this guy off real quick. Just a little. Nice, nice. Is that number five, six? I don't know. There he goes. Oh, little guy just denied it. 
Hey, hey, oh, dude, there's a bunch of fish down there. There's like four or five swimming around it. They're all a little bit skittish though. I've had like five deny it. <laughs> There we go. That's a good fish. I either snag this fish or it's a good one. Oh, it's a good fish, dude. That's a tank. Holy cow. Look at that fish. Oh my goodness. Giant, giant. That's one of the chunky ones I'm seeing down there. I told you guys, look at that. <laughs> I thought I snagged him for a second. We're definitely gonna get the net for this guy. Oh my goodness. That is a beauty. That is a beauty. <laughs> Oh, yes, that is a little bit more like what I'm after. Heck yeah, that is what we're here for. That is one of the biggest fish I've seen down there. So pretty, he fought so hard too. Usually these cutthroat don't always fight very hard, but that was a, that was a fun fight from this guy. Biggest fish of the day so far. Beautiful little cutthroat, or a big cutthroat for this pond. Cool, cool. All right, let's get him back. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous fish. We'll send him right back. Make sure he's nice and healthy. It's gonna take him a minute to revive. He fought good. Oh, <laughs> he's just going in circles. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, we're gonna have to help him. There he goes. All right. There are some chunks in here. There's not very many of them though. I only saw like two that size, so. Oh, one's chasing it. Oh, right there. I was bringing it in to recast and I saw something behind it and I thought it was moss, but that was a chunky fish following it. Got him. Oh, shoot. Dang it. Oh, that would have been a perfect keeping size fish. And no, he had to tangle me up for some unknown reason. I don't know how that happened. There we go. Little guy. I don't know, is he big enough to keep though? Let's see. Eh, I don't know. That's, that's kind of tiny actually, yeah. I'm just gonna let this guy go. Still, cool fish. It's another one that looks like a hybrid. There we go, another pretty fish. Again, it looks like a hybrid with that pink stripe, but it's a cutthroat. Cool. All right, all right. Oh, and there he goes. Just shot off. There we go. Oh, that's a nicer one. That's a nicer one. I think we're going to keep this guy. Yep. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Nope. Don't go in there. That's dinner, or that's lunch. Nice, <laughs> perfect for the pan. Look at that. There we go, folks, that is gonna be lunch for us. Perfect. I didn't wanna keep one of those babies, but I also didn't wanna keep one of those chunky ones. That is perfect for us right there. All right. All right, folks, we're actually gonna cook that fish right now. I've just found a little spot here right next to the pond. Take some of our Idaho spuds. And we'll take our fish, fresh cutthroat trout from the pond right behind me, caught like 15 minutes ago, if that. And then we'll go ahead and just cover it up. Shouldn't take too long to cook. It, Seriously takes like five minutes. You just get that water boiling and should have fresh trout shortly. This is so much fun, you guys. We got fresh cutthroat trout cooking, caught from the pond right there 10 minutes ago. Meanwhile, the leaves are changing yellow and red all around us. 
It is just so beautiful out here and fish are still jumping out there. And it's nice and cool too. It's not too hot, not too cold. It is perfect temperature. This is a great day, great time to get out. Oh, look at that. That fish cooks insanely fast. I'm gonna take a big scoop of butter and just let it melt over the fish. Just like that. There we go. All right, I think the fish is done. See if we can take the bones out. Oh yeah, it's just falling off the bones. There we go. Make sure we got them all. I always miss a few. And I've got here some black gold garlic pepper. Um, sounds really good. I can't remember if I've tried this before, but we're going to try it. Oh yeah, that smells so good. Let's see. It's got salt, brown sugar, garlic, black pepper, onion, red bell pepper, oregano, parsley, red pepper, and turmeric. And there we go, that looks amazing, and that fish looks delicious. So let's try a bite here. Let's grab a piece of fish, some potatoes, and there we go, caught fresh from the pond right behind us. Mmm, mmm, that's good. I like that. You can actually taste the bell pepper. There's little flakes of red in there, and that's actual red bell pepper. That is really good. I don't know if it's the seasoning. I think it is the seasoning, because I'm getting a little bit of a sweet flavor too. And that's probably the brown sugar in there, because yeah, there's a little bit of a sweetness to it. I'm watching fish jump right there. Holy cow. We've amassed quite a swarm of bees and flies. Jeez, man, gotta eat this fast. The more I eat this, the more I realize I'm not a fan of that brown sugar. It's a little bit too sweet almost. I mean, it's good, but very sweet. So with these smaller fish, fish have their rib bones, right? And then they have little pin bones that run uh, across their back. And when you're skinning them, you can dig your thumb down the center of the fish. And if you dig down deep enough, you can actually pull out a lot of those pin bones so you don't have to worry about them but there's always some that get left in the top part of the fillet and with fish this small you can just eat them like there's some pin bones in there and it's just not worth picking every single one out individually i'll just eat them they're super tiny and thin but rib bones like that they're a little more obnoxious mm. and there we go all right well, that was a good lunch, but we are not done fishing just yet. There are still fish to be caught. I'm seeing them everywhere out there. In fact, there was, oh, in fact, there's one right there. There is one right there. Watch this. Oh, got him. Oh, goodness. <laughs> there we go. Saw him right up here in the shallows. Tossed my leech out to him, and he got it. What is that? Is that a rainbow? Hold on, folks. Hold on. This is a rainbow. He doesn't have any cutthroat markings. Look at that. Or no, he does. Hold on. Yeah, that's a cutthroat. Does that not look exactly like a rainbow, though? And his jaw slash is not super defined. It's just barely there. Super fun. Get out of here. I want at least one more of those pigs, those big chunky ones, before we end the video. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh, right there. Right there. He's right there. Hold on. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I keep spooking them all. 
they come out for it and then they see me and they dip out. Oh, like four. Got them. Dude, like four came over to it. There they are. There they are. Just little ones. Oh, dude. Nice one. There we go. That's a chunk. I don't think it's quite as big as that one we caught earlier, but that's pretty close. It's a nice fish. Look at that. All right. Oh, there we go. Bring them over here so I don't fall off this log. That's like the second biggest one so far today. Nice, nice. Probably around the 14 inch mark. Cool, cool. Beautiful fish. I will take it. There he goes. Dude, there's a beast right there. Got it, got him. I looked over here, I saw him, casted right to him, and he ate it. Dude, that's a big fish. Nice. I looked over here, I just spotted him, and I threw it right to him. Came over to it and ate it without any hesitation. Wow. Holy cow, that might be the prettiest fish we've caught. Yep, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that fish. Dude, that is gorgeous. Wow. That's all I can say, wow. This is so much fun. It's one of the bigger ones and one of the prettier ones of the day. <sighs> that is cool. I love these fish so much. All right, let's let him go. There he goes. All right, dude. Okay, couple more. It's just so hard to walk away from biting fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Took that guy for a ride. Oh, he got me hung up, really? Oh, no, we got him. <laughs> look at that little guy. That's the smallest one we've caught so far. Look at that little squirt. Cute little guy. We'll just, there you go. Thanks for biting. Oh, there's some swirling on it. That's a good one. That's a good one. Decent one. Ooh, we'll try to get him off here without falling. Hey, 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 get out of the moss. Oh, they always go for the moss. Ooh, that's a fat one. You guys see that? He's got a fat gut on him. See, no, that one looks like a rainbow too, because he doesn't really have super dark markings under his jaw. They're there, but they're super faint. I don't know. I don't know. See you later. One more cast. There we go. All right, this will be the last one. Oh, I could just stay here and catch these fish all day, but I've got other plans too. So this will be our last fish. Good one to end on. Pretty one to end on. There we go. Beautiful cutthroat from the pond. Later. All right, folks, well, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I'm actually not done fishing. I'm gonna go work on another video for you guys, but we're gonna end this one right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really liking doing these multiple day uh, longer videos. A lot of you guys seem to like them as well. So if you wanna keep seeing more of them, let me know in the comments below. Fun day out here. Caught tons of cutthroat from this pond, and there's some chunky fish in there. We caught some nice ones. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.